All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to give you guys a very big video. I I'm trying to only do big videos from now on out just because I think they're, they tend to do better and they're just, I don't know, they're more fun to edit, more fun to make. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, first off, this is going to be the ultimate shiny uh, list, I guess. Not ultimate, because it can always change, especially with Johto releasing very soon, but this is gonna be uh, 25 of the best, most famous uh, shinies, I guess, not sh most famous, but just like 25 shinies to go out for, right? These are just different types of shinies that you know, whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate, whether you are like bored as hell with the game and you need something else to go for, hopefully this video appeals to like all of you shiny hunters out there. So um, yeah, I, I wanted to make more videos on shiny hunting. I, my previous video was on like the ultimate shiny hunting guide. So hopefully, you know, you watch that, you kind of learned how to shiny hunt, what hordes are, what you need to shiny hunt, all that good stuff. Uh, if you didn't, I'll try to remember to leave it linked in the description down below. But with all that being said, uh, let's start off with five of each. So I'm going to break this video down into different chapters. So, you know, the timestamps will be in the description. Uh, if you want to go skip around, they're going to be classified as five easy catches, five lepaberry catches, five single encounter spots, five fishing spots, and then five egg hunts. So obviously I don't have all of these because that's 25 shinies and I don't have 25 shiny Pokemon, but these are just shinies that, you know, I, I want to go for passively or I just see other people have and I think they're cool and you know maybe you just maybe it's inspiration to to go for those as well so if you're interested in the video at any point make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and with all that being said let's jump into the video all right so first off i want to give you guys the five easy catches these are just things that are near a pc you don't need lepa berries you don't need many resources you just need a, a sweet scent pokemon and a catching pokemon which i have here my meganium and my brelum i literally show these off like every single video uh this is what you need you know a sweet scent pokemon and a Pokemon with False Swipe and Spore. And this is for the most part, right? Sometimes you need other stuff, but you know, if easy catches, this is, this is what you need. So first off, you're gonna start off in Sutopolis City right here on the map in Hoenn. If you don't know where that is, and you're just gonna go, you're gonna land in this Poke Center, just go straight down, surf. Uh, you will need surf, I guess, and then go ahead and start sweet scenting. Uh, what you're gonna encounter here is Magikarps. Um, as you can tell here, I've got like 28,000 encounters. Probably about half of these are Magikarps because it's such a easy spot. Just wanted to throw that out there basically as soon as possible. Just gonna do a couple of hordes here. Uh, yeah, I mean, Magikarp, super easy spot, super just close to a PC. Uh, Magikarp's not a bad shiny as well. It's, uh, I'll show it on screen. I'll probably show all of the shinies on screen um, while I'm, I'm hunting, just so you guys kind of have like an idea of uh, what I'm going for, right? So yeah, Magikarp here in Hoenn. That is going to be the first spot. I also run a cute charm Pokemon because I like to see the the females show up instead, uh, as instead of males, um, just because it's easier for for breeding purposes. You know, if you're interested in Magikarp, it's it's right here in Sutopolis. I think you will need to pretty much be done with this, uh, the the Hoenn storyline in order to see this. But other than that, let's jump into the next spot right now. All right, so for this next spot, we are going to be in Mauville City, still in Hoenn. You're gonna to fly to the Poke Center. Go ahead and bike on left. Go ahead, keep going all the way down till you see Route 117. Go ahead and surf, and boom. Go ahead and start sweet scenting. You are going to be encountering Lombres, five times hordes, hordes of Lombre. Lombre is a really cool shiny. Again, you'll see it on screen. Um, yeah, Lombre, you can breed it down into a low tad. I'll see if I can uh, find a picture of a low tad for you guys as I'm shiny hunting here let's see if we can get one here we go yeah it's a, it's a decent shiny you know it looks cool um that's lotad and then obviously ludicolo as well uh, if we want to just go ahead and see if there's a pick of a ludicolo there is nice yeah pretty pretty good looking shiny as well uh but i think lombre honestly is I would consider keeping it a Lombre. I, th I think just as a perfectionist myself, I would probably want my shinies all evolved <laughs> at the end of the day. But I think Lombre, also not too far from a PC and just overall kind of a cool shiny, you know? It's it's not a spot that like everyone's gonna go to. Not everyone has or wants a shiny Lombre. Let's just take a look and see how many people have one, I guess. Um, I can't imagine that many people. Yeah, wow, there's not even a shiny Lombre out there. Wow, I'm kind of surprised. Either people really want to keep that or people don't know about this spot. I don't know for sure, but yeah, that's Lombre. Uh, I definitely will be hunting this guy in a future video or stream or something at some point. So that's Lombre. That's number two. Let's move on. We are going to go on over to, uh, let's go over to Sinnoh first. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and 
heal up before I uh, before I get there because I don't want to not have sweet sense for the video. That's going to be really embarrassing. So let's gonna go ahead and go over to Sinnoh and uh, I'll see you for the next spot. All right, so for Sinnoh, we are actually going to be uh, flying over to Eterna City. And for those of you who are fans of the channel, you guys know that I do have this shiny as well. You're going to go ahead and bike on over here to a water. Again, another water spot. Surf and Horde, and boom, you're going to be seeing Psyduck. I actually don't want to run into another shiny Psyduck because I do have one. Um, and I, again, I, I don't really want to, but this is going to be a 100% encounter with Psyduck, as you can tell here. Just imagine if I got another shiny Psyduck on, on video right here, that would be insane. But yeah, shiny Psyduck, a really cool looking shiny. It's blue as you can tell, and uh, not not bad at all. I think it's kind of useful as a Golduck, but obviously it's not gonna be as as pretty of a color if, if you do choose to evolve it. But yeah, there's only one spot in Sinnoh that I'd like to cover in this specific video. I think a lot of the best hordes are in, honestly, either Kanto or Unova, if we're being real here. I, I think those are probably the best spots for for horde hunting but yeah figured i want to show off another water type I, I guess i guess so far it's been all water types so it's kind of unusual but uh yeah they i don't know water types are just easy because they're they're near pcs you can surf and they're very comfortable they're very you know not difficult to catch and you know you can fall swipe you have spore you don't have to worry about a lot of takedown moves all that stuff so hopefully you like psyduck hopefully you like these three pokemon so far if you don't don't worry, we got like 22 more Pokemon to go. So yeah, like I said, strap in, it's be a long video. Let's go ahead and go over to Unova because that is gonna be the next uh, spot we're gonna go. So I'll see you there. All right, welcome back to Unova for the final two spots here of uh, easy catches. As you can tell, we are right near PC in Un Undela Town. I almost said Undela, it's Undela Town. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go and go down right here and boom, you're just gonna go ahead and surf. Again, another water type, and start sweet scenting. We're gonna see a 100% encounter of Mantine. Uh, Mantine is not a super desired one, I feel like. It's it's like, it's comfortable, it's quick, it's right here near a PC, as you can tell, but I don't think a lot of people love Mantine, but it is a nice spot, you know, especially if you just wanna get like your encounters up, something like that. And then if we go ahead and, I guess I'll just give you a bonus one. This is not the final spot, but just give you a bonus one. If you just come over here on the top right, as long as it says Undela Bay, as you can tell up here, uh, go ahead and surf and you'll be seeing Pelipper, which a lot of people also want. I believe these guys give HP. Uh, maybe I flipped it. Pelipper gives uh, defense. Okay, that means I'm pretty sure Mantine gives HP. So these are actually good EV spots as well. If you wanted to go for that, this guy has a white rabbit plush. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. I really want that, that uh, vanity item, but that's besides the point. Yeah, Pelipper and Mantine right here in Andela. You can pick which one. Very close to a PC, as you can tell. Uh, just keep sweet scenting. Not seeing any, uh, not seeing any shinies here. I, I just wanted like to show you guys like it, it is 100% for for each of these. Um, and then if I go ahead and teleport back, it's it's right here at the PC. You know, right here. So it's very very quick. Nice shiny Haxorus right here. <laughs> very quick. And uh, you're right back where you started. So those are the five, I guess, easy spots for um, Poke MMO. And let's get into some of the Lepaberry spots now. These are going to be a little harder to get to, so uh, I'm not going to do as many sweet scents, but I will take the time to show you uh, how to get there. So let's move on. All right, since we're still in Unova, I figured let's just get started here. These are going to be your Lepaberry spots, which basically means, if you don't know what Lepaberry is, I should probably explain that real quick if you know what a level berry is you can go ahead and skip ahead a few a few seconds here but basically level berry um it will restore a move's pp by 10. so this is obviously going to be your sweet scent because eventually you will run out of sweet scents uh and so you don't want to keep going back to the pc because it takes forever or something like that maybe it's just super far so you just want to use level berries that's what we call a level berry spot so you're going to start off here in pokemon league in uh, the unova region go ahead and bike on down some of you guys may know this if you've seen the channel go left and uh, like hug basically as left as possible go all the way down all the way down all the way down step into this piece of i guess whatever this is like rocks or whatever and go ahead and start sweet scenting i guess you have to go one more step in uh and then you'll be seeing heat mores heat mores actually useful because they hold um flame orbs which i believe can sell for about like 10k maybe a little bit less these days oops um flame orb and you will need like a bayonet if you want to go for this. Yeah, about 10k or so, so not bad. Um, and you can kind of make your money back by lepaberrying here um, because 
um, you you earn you know flame orbs like depending on how long you sp uh, spend here and all that stuff. So yeah, heat more definitely an interesting shiny. Uh, again, should be on the bottom of your screen. But uh, with that being said, that's heat more. Hopefully, you know you guys want that. Um, it's also it's not super far from a PC, I guess, but it is relatively far enough to to warrant me putting it on this side instead of like the beginner side of of um <laughs> shiny spots again it's not like super super difficult but yeah it, it'll get more difficult as we go but anyway let's move on to the next spot uh hopefully i remember exactly where it is all right so for this next spot i'm actually going to be taking out a special pokemon that you will need for this video so not for this video but for this hunt okay so uh the pokemon that you're going to need is going to be where is it it is my wheezing you're going to want to lead your party with a wheezing specifically one with a decent level and reactive gas the ability reactive gas and i think with just this you guys probably know what pokemon i'm going for you're going to be going on over to lost lorn forest and uh, the reasoning and i'm pretty sure we're going to see people here just make your way through this into this cave right here go ahead and go on in and then boom there's a few people in here touch this piece of grass and go ahead and uh, yeah go at it you're going to be seeing hordes of three and these this is a leprechaun spot because it's it's obviously very difficult to get here or annoying to get here reactive gas is basically going to subdue all of your other uh pokemon I, is this a pheno what is this thing whoa it's in emoga i don't think i have this Sorry, sorry guys, a uh, quick side tangent here, but I'm gonna go ahead and catch this Emolga because I think this is a Fino. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, the Emolga was caught. Let's take a look at the stats, not good. Okay, so anyway, uh, sorry about that distraction. Anyway, you're going to be continuing to Sweet Scent here. A lot of like high level people uh, play here. Um, you're gonna be seeing different types of bugs and, and cottonies, Whimsicott, uh, not Whimsicott, Cottony, um, I'm blanking on the rest of the stuff, the Venipede, things like that. And basically, Reactive Gas is going to subdue Zorua. Zoro is the Pokemon you're trying to hunt for here. And I am not leading with the right Pokemon now. <laughs> Whoopsie. Let me switch back to Weezing. Uh, the reason why you want Reactive Gas is because Zoro is going to be hiding with Illusion. And without, you know, a Pokemon like Weezing, you're not going to be able to see. Um, and you, you don't want to, like, go through and catch every single one. It's just going to take way too long. So with Weezing, using Reactive Gas is going to be much faster. And you're going to be able to counter more Zoros and more different types of Pokemon uh, in general. Zoro actually goes for a lot of money. Um, a lot of people want Zoro, shiny Zoro. So yeah, as you can tell here, here's a regular Zoro. Uh, it's not going to change in the top here. It, it won't say shiny Zoro, and it may. It, I don't think it'll actually play a sound effect either. So you really have to just look because it won't say. It'll it'll just be a blue Zoro. It won't be you know anything else. So definitely be careful. Um, you could easily run from it. You could easily kill it. Like just be careful. Petalo, that's another Pokemon that you can see. So grass and bug types in this forest. But yeah, man, another, wow, another Zoro. Sometimes you'll see two, like it's it's kind of crazy, but yeah, the odds are not exactly in your favor for uh, <laughs> for Zoro there. I'm gonna go ahead and heal and then move on to the last spot in Unova. Uh, we have two more spots after this, but uh, for Lepaberry spots, let's go on ahead and go over to another spot. All right, for this next spot, we're gonna be starting off in Drift Vale City. Go ahead and bike left, up, left, and uh, stay with me here, this is a little confusing. Go ahead and surf on up to this bridge. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using a super repel, because I don't wanna deal with anything. Uh, you can go right here, up, left, go up, left, and then hug this like piece of thing here, Like, or, or you can surf, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and go on up, Go past this rocks and then surf again and then come back surf down and then you'll see this cave here uh, another thing that you might need is flash let me go ahead and flash you don't necessarily need flash but it's nice to have I like to go down up go up these uh, stairs um, not really explaining this super well go okay go down the stairs go right go up basically that's it uh, and then when you're here you'll see people Go ahead and start sweet scenting, and what you're going to see is 50% Axew, as you can see here, and 50% Wubat. Obviously, I think a lot of you guys know that Axew is the Pokemon that we're targeting here. Um, Axew, I've been in this cave for 
the past 6,000 encounters or so, basically saw about 3k of Axew, 3k of Wubat, so, you know, it's, it is literally 50-50, if you don't believe me, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what it is, uh, Axew is a really nice shiny as well, I think if I was to get this, I would definitely bring it up to a Haxorus, Wubat's not the worst shiny, obviously it's not what you want, but, uh, it is something, it, it's still a shiny at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, that's that's Guidance Chamber. This is Axew here in Guidance Chamber. Uh, five times Horde, very comfortable. Uh, just sit here with your, your sweet scents and yeah, you go to, go to work, you know? They're not super high level or anything, so it's easy to run from. No real like debilitating moves or like takedown or anything like that. So fairly simple catch here as well. And that's gonna be it for uh, the Unova spot. Let's go ahead after this horde and move on over to uh let's go to uh, let's go to kanto actually i'll go to kanto next i got a i got a fun little spot for you I, I, I don't think a lot of you guys are ready for so let's move on over to kanto all right so now that we're in kanto we're gonna go ahead and fly on over to viridian city uh, i do need to heal real quick so give me a sec for that all right when i whether we're in viridian city you're gonna go ahead and go left towards the pokemon league left left up left down left and go ahead and hit the pokemon league i don't think you need a repel for this but as you can tell it is going to be quite far so this is why i would uh, repel and i would not uh what do you call it i would not go ahead and just like fly or teleport back and forth you're gonna be encountering a few um random pokemon here in the water as you as you go but uh yeah let's see if anybody can guess what the next pokemon slash pokemon are as you can tell here we got finally got some grass this is actually a really good attack ev training spot but it's arbok and primeape arbok and primeape i'll try to remember to put both on screen very cool shinies uh, i will say I, I don't think primeape is the coolest but our excuse me arbok is really cool shiny um that golden that golden snake a really cool shiny not super useful for anything you know it's not like a utility shiny or utility pokemon whatsoever but it's definitely cool it's definitely one of the the prettier shinies in this game especially in kanto so um yeah i mean if you're not going for anything in specific at least you could like ev attack train um and and you know get some stuff done there like i i usually you know for like breeding bayonets and stuff like that i usually take it here to attack train because i would love to have an arbok or a primate um probably arbok more so than primate but both aren't bad like i said so yeah that's uh that's another cool little spot i don't see many people talking about this spot so i did want to mention that uh, since I'm here all the way here, I do want to finish out the hordes because, you know, otherwise it's just like wasting, not wasting money, but I guess wasting time. So let me do one or two more hordes here. You can watch me see just how 50-50 the Primeape and Arbok split is. I'm fairly certain it's 50-50 because, you know, in my experience here, I've never run into like, you know, anything else besides these two. So it's, it's literally just these guys. Throughout this video, we're hitting about 300 encounters, maybe like 250 encounters so far. So making pretty good progress myself on on the hunt but yeah this isn't for me this is this is for you guys uh if you feel free go ahead and skip ahead if you feel like i'm taking too long in a certain spot but the point of this video is to kind of just drag it out and um you know just kind of talk with you guys um anyway next off we're going to sino let me go ahead and um uh, uh heal real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the boat on over to Sino. This is going to be the last Lepaberry spot. You're going to have to follow me here because this is, I saved the best for last. Okay, this is the most difficult, most annoying spot to get to. And you will need to have the Sino decks done, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so yeah, make sure to do that. Um, anyway, you're going to need a few Pokemon. All right, so first off, I'm going to put Weezing back. You're going to need a, a Pokemon with Defog. You're going to need a Pokemon with Surf and Waterfall. Um, Rock Climb. And that might be it. I think that's it. I hope I'm not missing anything else. But definitely Defog, definitely Surf and Waterfall. So again, you're at the Pokemon Center here in the Sinnoh region. Surf down, Waterfall down. Go ahead and enter the cave. Uh, I'm going to pop a repel. I, I would recommend popping repel as well. It won't get you all the way there, but it will get you very close. You're going to rock climb down, left, up, left, down, right, up, 
right. Now, if you don't have the game finished, this door will, this doorway will not be open. So make sure someone will be blocking it. So you have to have, I think it's either seen the Synodex or finished the Synodex. Uh, you're not gonna need to repel. Go ahead and go here and then boom, here you're in this cave. Now, the reason why you're in this cave, Victory Road, you're gonna want to defog now because otherwise you'll be encountering a lot of nonsense. Uh, basically, start sweet scenting. You're gonna be seeing Gabite. Gabite, yes, I shiny hunted Gabite for the longest time. Obviously, definitely, definitely a leopardberry spot if you weren't aware already. Um, but yeah, Gabite is here, and there's unfortunately, yes, Floatzel. The Floatzel is definitely one of the weaker shinies in this game. I definitely, definitely would be very sad getting one Gabite. Uh, not the best shiny, and honestly Garchomp not the best shiny, but what I really want Gabite for is to breed it down into a Gibble. So if I was to get a shiny, I'd really, really want a female. This is also why I, I'm still leading with the cute charm, Senshino. Some shinies, you know, you don't really care if it's male or female. Sometimes you want it to breed like a float, so I wouldn't mind if it was male, because I would just breed it into something else. But a female of a shiny you really want, like a desired shiny, is very important for breeding purposes. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of the shinies I got actually are not female, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, this is a nice little spot. It's obviously very difficult to get here, but once you're here, it's very, you know, very easy. Kind of like the Axew spot, you kind of just sit here and sweet scent. You know, you don't have to worry about a lot of stuff. I do believe Gabite has takedown, so if I just want to preface that, let me see. Gabite, Gabite. Uh, oh, it has double edge. Oops, where? Yeah, double edge at 37. So definitely be careful of that. I think I would bring a ghost type, which is something I forgot to do. But I would definitely bring a ghost type. That would solve you a lot of your issues. Um, but that's actually going to do it for the Leopardberry spots. Hopefully you enjoyed this section of the video. Um, and now let's get into some of the single encounter spots because I got a few of those for you as well. Wow, this video is going to be very long, but hopefully you enjoy it. Stick around and uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, welcome back. Let's start us off with a few uh, single encounter spots now. This is going to be not for everybody. Um, this is definitely going to be for more so of the... I guess rich trainers or, or wealthier trainers or more experienced trainers. So hopefully, you know, you take offense to that. But yeah, this is going to be starting off in Rustboro City. You're going to go ahead and go up. I'm trying to pick spots that like other people have not already picked or made videos on. So you know, forgive me if you if you have seen some of these before. But again, there's only so much that is in this game. So you're going to go ahead and go as surf up. You're going to go as high up as possible. Nice little Wingle horde here. Not bad. Not bad. But. Uh, Wingle, not one of my main priority shinies. Like this would be cool to have, but not really one I want. Gonna kind of go up as much as you can until you hit this cave. This is Meteor Falls Cave. Go ahead and go up. Uh, you could repel here. I think I honestly probably will repel. So let me go ahead and repel because I don't want to run to these these Zubats. Um, and I think you guys probably know where I'm going. So at, uh, let me just go ahead and do it just in case some of y'all don't. I'm going to repel, go up. Uh, you're actually going to go ahead and I think it's actually go this way and waterfall. So don't forget to bring waterfall. Obviously you need surf uh, and go up into this cave. From this cave, you're going to go down this cave. <clears throat> and then from this cave, go up onto this ladder from this ladder these old men let's hop another repel go up go right stay left stay as left as you can as left as you can still stay left now move left move left and then take this ladder down all right that was very important to, to do <laughs> go ahead go surf and go up and then boom you're finally in this cave go ahead and surf across and boom there's a cute couple of people here but this is a really good spot because you're going to be seeing da 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 that was not it. <laughs> well, you're gonna be seeing a bunch of stuff, but you're probably gonna be seeing a lot of Soul Rock, but you're gonna be seeing Bagon, and then eventually, uh, what's it called, Beldum. So yeah, very, very rare. I don't recommend shiny hunting in this spot, but Bagon sp specifically, uh, if we can pull up Bagon Wild Location. Yeah, Bagon Meteor Falls is a rare. Um, so yeah, I mean, like you could also lure, I think that would be a, like a tremendous help because you stop seeing as many soul rocks and gold bats and things like that. Obviously, it's, a, it's a, like a bunch of cave stuff. Uh, I guess Lunatones here as well in a horde. That's not the best, but it's 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 something, I guess. Um, but yeah, basically, you just want to stay here for some bagons. And uh, I, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of the spot. You know, you can also go down here and surf. I think 
I think it's Golbats in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you can see Golbats in the water. I don't know if you want to like single encounter Golbat. I don't think that's the best move. I don't think there's there's better alternatives. But yeah, that's the first little spot I want to just take you guys through. Let me go ahead and dig on out of this cave. And uh, we're actually going to go ahead and f uh, get out of Hoenn. We've got a few more spots. Uh, let's go ahead and go on over to Unova next. I think Unova has a couple spots and then Kanto for the last two. So for Unova, I'm going to try to speed this up and not take as long because I feel like it took a really long time for the first couple of spots. You're going to go ahead and fly on over to this city, Striation. Go right, go up, and hit the Dream Yard. The Dream Yard is like one of the early spots in... Oh, just cut this thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, you, the Dream Yard is like one of the early spots in the game. Go ahead and go on in and boom, you're in the Dream Yard. I think there's a better spot here. Yeah, uh, and what you can encounter here is a couple of Pokemon. Purloin is one of them. Purloin's not bad. I, I do believe Purloin has a shiny. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, not a shiny, a horde. Yep, Purloin definitely has a horde spot, so definitely don't want to stick around here. But what we're going to be going for is actually Muna or Mana? Muna. Um, Patrat's also here. Patrat's not a bad shiny, not going to lie to you guys. But yeah, you're going to be seeing Muna here eventually. I'm hoping I can encounter one on camera for you guys. Maybe, maybe not. Let's just go and check the rarity. It's uncommon. Oh, it's it's common in grass. Are we in dark grass right now? Oh, I think we might be in dark grass. I'm not sure actually. This let's see the dark grass or grass. No. Wait a minute. Level 49. Oh, okay. So very common. So it, it would be in this regular grass then, because all these guys are are this level. Uh, Dream yard. Yeah. I, we're just getting very unlucky with the Muna, or they. Yeah, I don't know. It says Dream Yard, and we're in grass. Levels 8 to 10. Very common. I guess we're just getting that unlucky on camera. Uh, I'll stick around for like two more encounters. If not, then you're just going to have to take my word for it that Muna is here. But Muna's a nice shiny. Uh, definitely not uh, underrated or overrated at all. Definitely a very nice looking shiny. I'll just stick around for one more encounter. Let's just see if we're in the right spot or not. Wow, we really didn't get one. That's crazy. But anyway, you're gonna have to take my word for it. Muna is in the dream yard. As you can tell from the Pokédex here, I want to spend, I don't want to spend all day here. Let's go ahead and move on over to the next spot. A lot of you guys are probably going to be familiar with this, but you're going to start off in Lacunosa town. Um, go ahead and Bike on over to the right and go up. This is actually the Rapidash EV Speed Training Horde. And then just go here. This is Route 12. There's a lot of different stuff here. You can lure here. But what I would want out of this little like patch of grass here is Pinsir. Um, I'm actually a big fan of bug types, like shiny bug types, things like that. That's really cool. Oh, cool. Some team members are here. Uh, a lot of dudes are here just hunting away, I guess. Uh, Tranquil's here. Rapidash is here. Sunkern. Uh, combi so there's like a lot of different stuff here it's very wide variety but me personally if i was here i want pincer because i believe it is an uncommon ap appearance here uh, and again if you want something specifically i would lure it um, lure is definitely a great way to get some of the rare stuff and it's not super expensive but it could be it might not be worth it for everybody but that is uh that is that that is number four on the single encounter spots definitely speeding this part up uh, a little bit um, and then let's go on over to the last spot. This is my favorite spot, and this is probably where I'm going to be once I hit maybe like 40,000 encounters, something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm, this is where I'm going to be to hunt uh, something else. I said I liked bug types. Hopefully you guys can guess. Maybe you guys, a few of you guys can guess, but going back to Kanto, we're actually going to be going over to one of my favorite spots. I'm forgetting which island it is on. I think it's on... Okay, I was um, a little flawed there, but it's actually on Island 6. You're going to be starting off in Island 6 in the Kanto region. Go ahead and go right. Go up, up, up. Uh, I'm going to repel here because I really don't want to encounter stuff, and I'm pretty sure I'm due to. Go up as much as possible. Go up, left, onto this next island, and boom, you're going to see Pattern Bush. Yes, Pattern Bush is my spot. I am a big fan of this spot for one Pokemon and one Pokemon alone. Hoping we can run into it. Not this. It is not Ladian. Uh, I'm hoping we can just stick around until we see it, but if we don't in like two or three encounters, I'll just tell you guys what it is. Um, hopefully, I didn't flash it already on the screen for you, but... As you can tell, nope, but it is a lot of bug types, as you can tell here. A lot of the bug types I'm very cool with. I don't mind a Ledian. I don't really want a Kakuna, but I wouldn't hate it at the same time. 
there is one bug type, not a metapod, that I am really digging. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more encounter just to keep the suspense going, just to build the suspense. Hopefully, hopefully we run into it. Um, it is not this. Okay, I'm gonna just tell you guys, it is a Heracross, all right? Heracross in, is an uncommon encounter in the pattern bush and ha shiny Heracross is beautiful, dude. That pink shiny bug looks amazing. I would love it. Let's see if there's one on the GTL. There is, look at this guy, dude. Look at this guy. This is so sick, dude. Such a sick Pokemon. I would love this. And here we go. Here's a Heracross, but no, unfortunately not shiny. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily worth it to egg breed Heracross. I feel like if I was to get done with Beldum, I might start that, but I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like it might just be worth it just uncommon hunt here. And again, you can use lures to, to make things a little easier for you as well. But yeah, that's uh, that's Heracross. That's here in Pattern Bush. And as you can tell, a lot of different like grass types and bug types here. So very, very good if you're a bug type trainer, if you're trying to do like some kind of mono type team or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's that. That's, uh, that's it for the single encounter spots. I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick because it's been a minute. And then now I wanna take you to a few fishing spots, all right? So my next part of this video is gonna be five fishing spots that you may or may not know. Let's get into it. All right, so for the fishing hunt, I'm just gonna start off real quick here. We're gonna be starting off in Icarus City here in the Unova region. Go ahead and bike on up. You can move over as well as much as you want. And then go ahead and go up to Dragon Spiral Tower. From here, go ahead and surf and hit the Super Rod key or whatever you you know you, you want. Um, I'm actually running a uh, suction cups Pokemon here just because I want the extra chance of fish biting. I accidentally hit the um, the sweet scent Pokemon here, the sweet scent button here. So just don't do that. Uh, go ahead and just keep, um, what do you call it? Just uh, fishing. And eventually you're gonna run into a Dratini. Dratini is actually one of the cooler Pokemon here. This is a popular payday spot as well. Um, but Basculin is, is probably what you're gonna see most likely. Yeah, Dratini and sometimes Dragonair, definitely gonna be some of the cooler Pokemon that you encounter in this specific spot right here. Boom, a Dragonair, like I said. Um, not super, you know, sold for a lot, but definitely a cool fishing spot uh, if you want certain Pokemon. That's actually it for uh, the Unova region. Let's go on ahead and go on over to the Sinnoh region because I got a couple of cool ones there as well for you guys. Uh, Suction Cup is not necessary. Sticky Hold is also all right. You know, I think Grimer has that ability, but it just helps if you're just like purely fishing and not really caring about other encounters. But let's go ahead and go do some Sinnoh stuff. All right, the next Pokemon up is going to be Corefish. You're gonna start off in Celestic Town and go ahead and boom, just go ahead and start fishing in Celestic Town. You should be seeing, wow, not Gyarados, but you should be seeing Corefish. I guess this spot is not 100%, uh, just live and learn, you know? I'm not really that into fish hunting, but I just wanted to give you guys a few spots that I thought were cool. So let's try again, see if we can get the Pokemon that we want. If not, this will be a little embarrassing. Wow, we can't. Interesting. The Pokemon that we're actually going for is Corefish, and as you can say, as you can see here, it says Sinnoh Super Rod, Celestic Town, very common, uh, and we're not seeing one yet. We are 0 for 2. If we become 0 for 3, I'll be very concerned. There we go. Cool. So we got a Corefish. It looks like Corefish and Gyarados are in this spot. You don't really want Gyarados, but Corefish definitely one of the cooler spots. I have to do some testing and see if like there's a better like 100% only Corefish spot out there. there. There probably is if we're being honest, but uh, or maybe not 100%, but maybe it's like Corefish and something else that's more interesting than a Gyarados. Uh, not that Gyarados is bad, you know, still seeing a wild shiny Gyarados is definitely something not to be laughed at. But that's it. That's for the next spot. Let's move on over to another spot in Sinnoh. All right, so now that we're still in Sinnoh, we're gonna go ahead and go on over to, uh, I believe it's going to be, the closest one is gonna be Sand Gem Town. Actually, I have not tested this one, unfortunately, so I, it could be a little off, but you're gonna go ahead and go on down as much as you can. Uh, you probably have honestly never been here, but go ahead and keep going down until it says Route 220, about here, and then just go ahead and start fishing. I think from here, you're probably gonna see Gyarados, you're probably gonna see a lot of different stuff, but boom, wow, we got it on first try. Chinchow is actually what you wanna be hunting for. Chinchow, there might be better spots out there, but I believe Chinchow is a very common encounter here. And again, like I said, you're probably gonna be seeing other stuff, but super rotting here, in, as long as it says Route 220, 
Wow, Lantern, cool. Wow, we're two for two, actually. Uh, either of these definitely, you know, very pretty shinies, I guess. I think I'd, I'd be comfortable with either of these. Obviously, you're probably going to see a Gyarados or two. You're probably going to see maybe a Golduck. I'm not quite sure. Maybe not Golduck, but yeah, you're definitely going to see different, different fish and different Pokemon in here. Uh, don't be alarmed or anything like that. That's just how it is. That's going to be spot number three, Route 220 here in... Uh, I think we're in Sinnoh. Um, and then we got a few more here to go. Let's move on over to uh, Hoenn, actually. I think there's a couple of spots here in Hoenn that I can just round out the video with. Well, round out this section of the video with, but we got a few more sections. We got one more section to go. So yeah, let's go on over to Hoenn. For this next spot, it's actually very simple. Uh, you are in Slateport City, right when you land. Just go on and go over here and just start super rotting. Actually, you don't even need to surf. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, if you wanted to, just go ahead and surf um, and fish and boom, eventually, if I can get a bite, I don't know what's taking so long here, you should be seeing Whalmer. Yes, Whalmer, definitely one of the uh, prettier shinies if it's, uh, it basically looks like Thanos, for those of you who don't know. And so, uh, Whalmer is a very common, it's pretty much everywhere, it's in like every piece of water if you go on a, sur a super rod and anything in Hoenn, uh, it's like everywhere, it's very common. Um, definitely a pretty shiny. Let's kind of, kind of curious how much it's going for. I might eventually go for this, but uh, yeah, it looks like Whale Lord. Um, interesting. I don't see many, no shiny Whale Murs. Interesting, interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's Whalemur. It's a very, very common spot. It's everywhere in, Sen uh, in Hoenn. And then that's not spot number four. Uh, let's just go ahead and show you guys the last spot as soon as I... I'm done with this encounter. I'll just spoil it for you right now. It is actually Shelter. All right, and for this last fishing spot, we're gonna be starting off here in Five Island in the Kanto region. Go ahead and surf or bike down. Uh, you don't really need to be here, I guess. You don't, again, I, I always just surf just because it's just a habit, but basically you just super rod, go ahead and here. I'm pretty sure it's super rod at least. Um, and you should be seeing, not Krabby, although Krabby is nice. Uh, it is Shelter. And I believe the spot is Kanto Five Island. I don't know where Five Island is. Here we go, 25. Yeah, so Super Rod, yep. So that is right, and it is the most common. There actually is a way to Old Rod in Unova. I don't, I think that might be a glitch because I don't know if Old Rod is there. Staryu, very nice. I didn't know Staryu was actually in this this piece, but Staryu is definitely a cool um, shiny as well. Definitely one of the top ones to get if I was to get like a water type sh uh, shiny. We definitely love a, sh uh, a shiny star, you. But yeah, I don't know why we're not seeing a freaking um, thingy. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the last spot. It should be Shelter again. Hopefully, we can run into one. Maybe uh, if not, it is what it is. I'm not seeing it. Uh, okay, wow, we are really not getting any bites here. We're going to get off and go on land and try it. Let's see if we get anything here. And Staryu again. Interesting. Okay. Um, I mean, honestly, Staryu is a pretty nice Pokemon to catch. I don't think it's... It doesn't cost a lot, but it's definitely a nice one to catch. Uh, anyway, yeah, I don't know why we're not seeing the shelter. That's kind of weird. But uh, anyway, that's it for the fishing spots. Um, let's go on ahead and go over to the last part of the video. It's going to be the quickest part because I don't need to show you guys anything because I don't have anything, but it's just five of the best egg hunts in the specific game. A Seedra. Wow. Still, wow. Even rarer than a Shelter. That's crazy. I don't know why Shelter is so difficult to find here, but this is a nice little fishing spot, honestly. Seedra and Staryu, um, and it looks like we can't escape. Wow. Okay. Well, anyway, I will uh, go find a, a fun little location to record the rest of this video. And then we'll talk about the egg spots. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go. All right, for this last section of the video, I just want to go over five of the best egg hunts in the game. And they'll just be appearing on your screen as I say them. So first off is Beldum. Those of you who know, I have been egg hunting Beldum for over a year now. Uh, Beldum is definitely one of my favorite uh, well, like I guess Metagross more so. Metagross is definitely one of my favorite shinies uh, in in Pokemon in general. So I definitely want that. I really appreciate how difficult the challenge is for getting a shiny Beldum. So that's definitely number one for me. 
Number two is any starter. Uh, I say Charmander more so because I think that's just one of the coolest, like a shiny Charizard is just really, really cool looking, but any starter in general will do, uh, you know, between Totodile, Chikorita, uh, Squirtle, you know, Bulbasaur, Charmander, obviously, like any of the uh, Mudkip, um, Chimchar, you know, there's so many starters out there, Piplup, that Turtwig that just like yeah that just look really cool really rare number three is Larvitar shiny Larvitar probably one of the cooler ones I think Tyranitar is alright honestly Pupitar might be the coolest looking shiny um, out of that little bunch but yeah that's that's another really difficult one to get I think Larvitar is only a lure or a rare spot so anything like above a rare or rare or above you probably want to egg hunt next up is Chansey slash Snorlax both of those are uh, not actually you know what strike that I'm pretty sure now that I think about it Snorlax has a horde spot um, No, it does not okay. Never mind. I'm wrong uh, Snorlax does not have a horde so Snorlax definitely is a cool one to get Chansey definitely definitely one to get because uh, it's a it's a Kanto only uh, Kanto Safari zone only hunt um, and as you guys know that is not the easiest to catch a shiny in a in a Safari zone so that's one of the cooler ones to get. And then the last little guy is an Eevee. Eevee is not super duper rare anymore because they added a lore spot, but still it's only a rare in Kanto and then obviously a lore in, in Sinnoh. Um, I mean, there's a lot of Eevees out there on the market right now. I think that's why it's probably easier to like egg hunt. They're only like 3K. These used to be like seven, 8K a piece. Now they're only like 3K. So I've seen them as low as like one and 1.5, 2K. But yeah, man, that is it. And that's going to do it for the video as well. This is a very, very long video, but I hope it was comprehensive. I hope I explained where to go, what kind of Pokemon to get, how to get them, some of the stuff you might need. Again, it's not everything. You know, I probably missed a few Pokemon having, you know, takedown or something like that. Like, you know, I'm not going to cover everything, unfortunately, but I just want to give you guys a good like a good solid list that would keep you busy for a long time and i definitely want to encourage you guys to go out there and like just go into different pieces of grass different pieces of water surf fish you know just try different things don't just like follow like blind guides out there because there's only so much out there but it, you know if you wanted like a certain pokemon like a crabby for instance go look and see if there's like a specific crabby spot that's like way better than um you know another spot that that's out there on the market but that's it for the video if you enjoyed it please do me a favor and leave a like on the video i spent a lot of time on this video you know prepping it recording it editing it so please do that it would you know mean the world to me subscribe if you're new to the channel try to post at least once a week and i try to stream you know at least once or twice a week as well i'm, I'm a little off sometimes but you know i try to stream like catch events and, and different things that i'm doing that are really fun like egg breeding or something like that uh, but other than that guys that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment if you have any of these shinies that I mentioned, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.